Hello, and welcome to your Bulldog News. It's Monday, April 6th. Um, your weather for today is supposed to be a high of a 73 and a low of 58. And it's supposed to be mostly cloudy in the morning and partly cloudy with a slight chance for a storm. Looking forward to the rest of this week. Tuesday, it looks like it's going to be a little cloudy, but with highs in the 80s and a low in the 50s. Looking forward to Wednesday, there's going to be a high of 82 and a low of 44. Looks like possible chances of um, a storm. Thursday is going to be a high of 58 and a low of 36 and a little cloudy. And Friday is a high of 60 and a low of 40 with clouds again. And looking forward to the weekend, it, both Saturday and Sunday is looking a little rainy, but with a high in the 60s and lows in the 40s. So, yeah. Hey, Bulldogs. Hope you're all doing well. Mr. Kavner here, Monday, April 6th. Just wanted to give you a quick shout out and uh, update you on some information and some reminders. For those of you that didn't get a Chromebook last week, and if you still need one, we're going to do another pickup date. Uh, this Tuesday and Wednesday from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock at the high school main entrance. For those of you that don't have internet and you're ready for your second packet, those will be, a, be available by Wednesday and the office will call you when they're ready for pickup. Some of you may have already received that phone call if all the work was in from your teachers. For those that completed the first packet and need to drop off work or as you complete some of the work in the second packet, we're allowing that to be dropped off at the high school on any Wednesday from 8 to 1.30. There will be a table between the front doors when you enter the front door of the high school. Uh, and just make sure your name is on all of your information, all of your work there, or if it's in the packet that you've got your name on that packet, that it's clipped together in some manner. Uh, when you come in, just lay it on that table and you can turn around then and leave it there and we'll pick it up from there. Teachers are also posting work daily or every few days uh, for your assignments on Google Classroom, so please make sure you take some time and check that uh, regularly. Uh, try to set aside some time each day uh, to work on assignments and to stay caught up and we continue our education. Teachers and school administration continue to work uh, through this process to try to find the best way to get that information and to continue our education. This has definitely been a learning process for all of us. Uh, I'm so ready to get you guys all back in the building and uh, see all your faces again and have some fun with you in the hallways. Uh, ready to get my Blue Eye Bulldogs back together again. But for now, stay safe and know that we love you and miss you and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Hi guys, Tuesday's menu for breakfast is egg and cheese biscuit, juice and milk. For lunch is beef stew with a biscuit, fruit and milk. If you guys need deliveries, you need to call the high school and let them know. If you need to pick up, it's from 10 to 11. Bye, guys. Have a good day. And now for your birthdays. Today we have no local birthdays, but we do have a few famous ones. Happy birthday to Merle Haggard, a country singer born in Bakersfield, California. Also, happy birthday to Paul Rudd, an American actor born in New Jersey and Zach Braff, another American actor also born in New Jersey. And that's all for your workdays. It's time for your video question of the day. And today I ask my students, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Here's what they had to say. Okay, my answer for the question of the day, uh, what animal would you want to be? Um, axolotl we're choosing axolotl why because they're cute and they can swim and they vibe in the water <laughs> they get to be outside right now that's pretty cool um not lined up in the shot that's also pretty cool oh 30 seconds goodbye if i could be any animal i would be a dog I have two of my own. One is a smaller inside dog. Her name is Cupcake. And then I have a big black lab that is outside and his name is Buddy. Um, I would be a dog because they are so loving and caring. My dog is 
my little dog, she's more like my baby, but my big black lab is just my baby too. I literally do everything with my dog. <laughs> she is always by my side. She knows when something is wrong and she's just always there and she sleeps a lot. So that would always be a plus. Dogs sleep lots. And if I could choose which dog I would be, I would probably be a black lab or a golden retriever. If I could be any animal, I'd want to be a shark because they get to eat everything they see in the water, but they can also be nice too. And they're just really fierce and everyone's scared of them. And I just think that's really cool. So, and I just really like sharks. They're actually really cute. So I would love to be a shark. All right, if I was going to be an animal, I would probably be this cat because all it does is freeload and get food and just lays around and does pretty much nothing for free. So I'd be this cat. If I were to choose any animal for a pet, it would probably have to be a pet deer. I think a pet deer would be awesome. I mean, I love deer. Uh, deer are super cool animals, you know. You could almost train them like they're your dog. Um, you could keep them in your yard or wherever you wanted to, you know, and they kind of have the will to roam or do whatever they do. Um, you could have them out eating grass. Uh, they could pretty much do whatever. You wouldn't even have to feed them. And as you can see, I'm quite the fan of deer, so I think that'd be really cool to have. I mean, that'd be an awesome pet. So if I were to choose one animal, that would be it. For April the 6th is common popcorn day. Yeah, it's all over now and it show is Monday. Now time for your random fact with my co-host, Echo. Tell me a random fact. You can estimate the temperature by counting cricket chirps. Just count the number of chirps over 15 yeah, seconds. Add 40, and you've got the approximate temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. That's all for your random fact.